In this presentation, we're going to introduce you to the U.S. Geological Survey Stream Stats tool. This free online tool will help you create a watershed map for your area and help find related helpful statistics and information about your selected watershed area. When you type in the web address listed at the top of the screen, this is the home screen you'll see. You'll have the option of using the plus or minus signs at the top left of the map, or you can search for a specific location and it will help you to zoom directly to that spot. Then you can use the functions in the top right corner to use different map layers. Here, we're going to search for Springfield, Kentucky and zoom to the site. Now our map has zoomed into Springfield and the software needs to confirm that we are selecting Kentucky as our state. After doing that, we can then see streamlines becoming big and blocky, which will help us click on the appropriate location. So let's confirm that we are looking for Springfield, Kentucky and change our base map to Arial which will also help us navigate right to the mouth of our chosen stream. Now you can see the aerial image with the blocky blue streams. To identify your study area, you'll click on delineate and then click right at the mouth of the stream to help you capture the entire drainage area for that chosen stream. Now you can see the contributing watershed or drainage area highlighted in yellow. You can also see in the left toolbar that you have the options to clear the basin and try again, which is sometimes necessary if you don't click directly on the stream but beside it and only a small area is delineated. Or you can edit the basin if you know that the drainage area has changed. It's important to also note that you can download the basin map as a shape file, which can be used in ArcGIS or on Google Earth. Then click Continue. After clicking Continue, you can select different statistics and it will predict the stream flows under different conditions. There you can see low flow, bank full, peak flow statistics. Select as many as you want and then press continue to help you build a related report. You can also click the drop down arrow next to basin characteristics on the left, which will enable you to choose additional information that you may want in your report. We'll do that next. Here you can see that you have the option to pick drainage area, elevation, two flow variability indices, the latitude of the outlet, and two measures of impervious area. By selecting what you want and clicking continue, it will immediately give you the feedback on the basin characteristics you selected. If you scroll down and hit continue again, it will then build your report. Here is the report that's generated, which can then be downloaded and saved. You can see that it shows the map of the drainage area and provides the basin characteristics as well as any other information you requested. Scrolling down, you can see the box highlighted in orange that notes this area as possibly having karst geology, which may affect how accurate the watershed delineation is. You'll also see some flow data and information about how it was used to calculate flow statistics. Stream Stats is an easy to use tool that provides you with a lot of information quickly. Hopefully this short intro will encourage you to add it to your watershed planning toolbox.